here's something I got to say. Uh, I'm glad to be back live streaming. And the uh, winter blues may have hit me a little bit. Nothing, nothing serious. But I, I was recording. Uh, what's today? Thursday? I was recording t Tuesday? Whatever the fuck it was. And had a rough time about it. Didn't really get what I wanted to get out of it. It was for a cover. And, you know, I kind of beat myself up on it. I think it's okay. But I think I should really redo it, if I'm honest. And, you know, work is, has changed. The dynamic has changed. Uh, I work in a, in a machine shop. And uh, my boss I had, who I really liked, she quit. Went to my... Just holiday stress bullshit. So I'm glad to be back. This makes me feel better. And plus, because I'm working with my fucking new boss all day... He won't leave me alone. I can't listen to bandmate like all day. So that's also affecting me. Like it really is. So, uh, this helps me feel better. So thank you for being here. Okay. It's, and you can, it's hard to catch yourself in it, you know, in the, in the winter blues. <clears throat> so if you are, make yourself go to, you know, websites or chats or places or whatever that you know you like and try and, uh, connect with somebody you know maybe if you can even just connect with like man fucking winter blues dude <laughs> you fucking winter blues man and just talk about it if you talk about it it kind of lightens it a little bit anyway i just wanted to say thanks uh you know i i just appreciate you that's all jonas galmarius brutal spiral of emotions i guess you're up man do that. All right. What am I doing? Uh, Galnerius, a brutal spiral of emotions. You know, actually, hold up, Galnerius. I actually have like one more song to release from the last live stream. <laughs> and fucking Wave Potter played drums for one of my songs, and I haven't even done anything with that. It's ridiculous. Here we go. Galnerius, a uh, brutal spiral of emotions. <laughs> insane it's pretty fucking crazy i'm getting dizzy I'm getting dizzy listening to this you know what i mean <laughs> chat thank you uh welcome to skyama fuck i messed up your name skyama uh 736 welcome to the chat welcome to the channel welcome and uh seize of fate fuck that that dropped in it i gotta oh maybe i'll scrap all the reactions just go through their fucking album uh huh <laughs> it'd be a reaction but not no requests um okay i thought i recognized a drummer and they play for Unlucky Mofrius. Fucking cool, man. Fumia. Right on. Cool. Uh, this is 11 and a half minutes. All right. Yeah. 
fucking heavy, man. So, I mean, obviously, these guys are all fucking fantastic. Just awesome. I like how the heavies, it's fucking heavy. Like, sometimes I have bands like this, the heavy, it kind of verges on heavy. But this is just really heavy, man. The drummer's awesome. The bass player, fucking finger techniques, fast. Like, and just fucking nonstop, too. The singers impress me a lot. Like, I really like his vocals. Powerful, powerful, but nice and clean, you know? have stock and keyboards and picks. Wow. 
it's <laughs> I'm not sure how old this is. But uh it's pretty fucking clear there's no like effects or anything on this dude's voice. He just all his fucking voice. It's awesome. It's it's very I don't know, man. I love I love it. It's awesome. Reverb, obviously. To, okay, to your comment earlier about backing tracks. This is bands like this is why I love stuff with no backing tracks because you hear everything you see going on is like you see it happening, which to me is just it's part of the fun of seeing a band live. You know, if if the guitar stops playing, you don't hear any fucking guitar. You know, <laughs> and that's I just love that element of of when bands play live. I know it's becoming rare, more and more rare, just because. It's just easier to add things to, to live performances. But I liked seeing a band who had a lot of shit going on an album perform live and pull it off without any other tracks is all. That's just my personal preference. It's not, not a, a knock to people to use them. I just, to, for me, seeing a band like this, this, this huge of a band with their sound that is huge and pull it off with just the instruments on stage. I love seeing that. something and I ignored the guitar solo. That's very, very wrong of me. <laughs>
I love that fucking key change. <laughs> oh, that was great. Can you believe that? It's like the best key change ever. So we have, uh, yeah, that key change is fucking awesome, dude. That's like the best key change I've ever heard. <laughs> All right, so it looks like they started around 2001. That's fucking crazy because it sounds like an, like an 80s. sounds like an 80s band, man. I thought it was going to be from like early 90s. So it started 2001. And it looks like uh, Sue, uh, the guitar backing vocals leader from 2000 to present so he's like the guy who's been there the whole time um, currently it looks like uh, Su Sho Taka Leah and Yuki so yeah that's awesome uh, so this this had to be, if that was Fumia, that would be from between 2016 and 2020, around there, because he was only in the band for that long, apparently. It's pretty fucking recent. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that new, but hey, it's still freaking awesome. <clears throat> 